Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are all having a good day today. Um, so I'm just getting ready to read my devotional, so I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, today it's talking about our imperfections don't stop God. It says, although we have weaknesses, we can still be blessed by God. Jacob was a man who had many weaknesses, and yet he pressed on with God and was determined to be blessed by him. You can see Genesis 32. God likes that kind of determination. God is glorified through those who will not let their personal weaknesses stop him from working through them. For God to work through us, we must first come face to face with the fact that we have weaknesses and that we must determine, and then we must determine not to let them bother us. Our imperfections are not going to stop God unless we want them to do so. You might be weak in yourself, but you can be strong in Jesus. The power thought is, though I am weak, in him I am strong. So, you know, what I take out of this is basically we as God's children, or whatever your higher power is, um, we as humans, we all make mistakes. We're all weak in some area or part of our life. Um, none of us are perfect. That's just the point. Like, it it doesn't matter. You're not perfect. Um, and... And that's okay. You know, during those times of weaknesses or the, during those times of bad choices that you made or whatever, you know, God was still with you during those times. He still loves you. Um, as long as you recognize your wrongdoings and you recognize your weaknesses and you continue to move forward and push on with those weaknesses and those wrongdoings, that's what God that's what God wants. He doesn't expect you to be perfect. We all are made completely different. Um we are all completely different individuals. We all have different things wrong with us. We all learn differently. We all cope differently. We all think differently. We all have different opinions every, every single thing. There's so many there's so many wrong doings in the world, you know? Um there's not one that's better than another. They're all wrongdoings um, in God's eyes, you know? And I don't understand why people judge wrong, a wrongdoing versus another wrongdoing. They're both wrongdoings. Um, and hope, you know, you learn from them. At least I usually do through mine. Um, but even doing wrong things or even doing your weaknesses, you know, God does still love you. And like it says, if you are continuing to just try to be positive, try to be thoughtful, trying to get out of that funk or trying to get, you know, better with your weakness or whatever it is, as long as he sees you trying physically, trying with all your might, then he's going to be there for you, man. Um, it may not be the exact way that you want it to be because, you know, sometimes people think like, oh, it needs to be just done right the second. And trust me, I get like that too. But no, because then you don't learn your lessons. If, if it were to happen and go exactly the way you want it at the second that you want it, all the time you wouldn't learn lessons and that's not realistic um because God has all kinds of lessons for us in life um but in this lesson you know it's just a reassurance that even when you have a weakness in life and we're going to continue to have them throughout life um when you have that weakness or if you're making if you made a bad decision you know don't think that God it loved you any less or that you're not going to go to heaven or or whatever you know, as long as he continues to see you working through yourself and working through your struggles and, and working through it all, he will be there. Um, and I think that people just need to remember that, including myself sometimes, because sometimes I'm a little hard on myself. Um, but we all make dis mistakes and we all learn from them. And, you know, all we can do is choose to do better. That being said, I hope you guys choose to make today a great day. Um, go help somebody or motivate somebody or, you know, whatever, be positive, whatever it may be for you today. Um, just have a good Tuesday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.